The Indigenous Tracker or iTracker program is run by Nailsma to support land and sea managers to collect, map and report on spatial data to assist in the management of their traditional country. The iTracker program uses world-renowned CyberTracker software coupled with field-tough hardware appropriate for use in remote areas. These tools improve the way that people can collect and manage both natural and cultural information. This project uses a case study approach that brings together Indigenous communities, scientists, researchers and other relevant experts to develop a new community-friendly way of monitoring what's happening on their country. These tools are then shared with other people who are working out on the country. This video provides a glimpse into one of the case study projects being implemented on Lama Lama country in Cape York, Queensland. A lot of, a lot of our lagoon strand is sacred site and you know, they hold water nearly all through the year. All of our bush, bush tucker are around in place too. Even medicines we got around our lagoons. These weeds and that will come into that waterway and they'll probably overtake the natives. You know, if we need the medicine right there and then if somebody just feeling crook at bush, well, probably won't find it. South Cape York catchments began doing wetland condition assessments with Lama Lama back in 2009 and 2010. And track. We started out initially with paper-based uh, monitoring. They're still really good, but it took a lot longer. You know, with the amount of wetlands and stuff that we have around here, uh, you know, you'd probably only do one site a day. But uh, just over the last couple of years, we've started using the eye tracker. And so that's got a little reminder to what you're supposed to do at each mm -hmm. quadrat. So today we were trialling our draft rapid assessment methodology, and the ranger group will do the assessments maybe once or twice a year every year for several years and hopefully that'll allow them to track changes in the condition of their wetlands. And what else? Well we could start the plant list so it's just broken into you know, you know, different... With the rapid lines. assessment application that we now have with the eye tracker uh, you'd probably do two to three a day. The original methodology still has its place for initial baseline studies, but I think the new rapid method will be great for rangers on the ground to use without having to rely on scientists or experts coming in to help them. So not seeing no fish. It's really, really easy to go out now and, and actually walk around the, on the wetlands, uh, go to our, our, our monitoring points that we put in you know, over, over the last number of years, punch all the information in right there and then, and it's done. You know, and uh, you know, once you come back to camp, just upload on the, onto the database and done. Because you know, everyone's got a tablet and you know, for someone to just get up there and yeah, out in the bush and it's Forward. easy as. You know, if you want to keep, keep an eye on your wetlands and on your country, well, well this would be the way to go, I'd say. When we first did our um, assessment, we was doing it in the middle of the lagoon. It was bone dry. And so we thought about, uh, we got to start looking after these swamps and so we fenced it all off for pigs, um, cattle and wallabies. It's real good now. There's water holding all, every year and that's been what, five, five or four years since we had it fenced in. Rangers work with South Cape York catchments to do a wetland condition assessment before the pig fence was installed and now this monitoring tool will allow the rangers to continue the wetland assessments and gauge how effective that fence has been at protecting the wetland values. This fence here is uh, it's, it's a rehabilitation site. We've, um, we've actually fenced it off too so it's pig and cattle proof. When we had all the pigs and stuff and the cattle through here all this here was really eroded and, 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 and a lot of damage done by pigs and cattle through here. And the cattle were in the swamps eating all the lilies. The pigs that were in, in the swamps actually digging up all the grounds and stuff. What we're actually doing here is um, putting some uh, pickets inside the fence because the pigs have actually put a hole in the bottom here and uh, gone inside and, and, and 
cause a bit of damage. Yeah, so this has been a little project now for the last couple of years and just coming back every year and doing our assessments here, you've, we've seen a lot of changes and this is sort of the first time there's been a pig in here. So for a lot of environmental and scientific issues, long-term monitoring is very important. Improving the community's capacity to be able to implement monitoring will be significant in allowing both the traditional owner community and the wider Australian community to be able to get good information on issues over the long term. Most of us ran here, uh, older gener generation and me, we sort of got a GPS eye tracker in our, in our head. He can read it, but he can't see it. Me, I can read it and can see it. That's just like you're learning my way and I'm learning your way.